The National Park Foundation and the National Park Service are proud to present the 2019 National Christmas Tree Lighting, hosted by country music star Jesse James Decker and featuring performances by country singer and winner of The Voice, Chevelle Shepard, pop artist and American Idol finalist, Colton Dixon, the United States Air Force's premier rock band, Max Impact country music artist and the voice finalist, Spencia Baker, the Tucson, Arizona Boys Chorus, the West Tennessee Youth Chorus, and the President's Own United States Marine Band. And now, here to kick off the Christmas celebration, please welcome Spencia Baker, performing Joy to the World, backed by the President's Own United States Marine Band. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare. Welcome our host for this evening, Jesse James Decker. celebrate the spirit of the season with the tradition that started almost a hundred years ago when President Calvin Coolidge lit the first national Christmas tree within the U.S. Marine Band. Over the next hour, we will be sharing some of our favorite Christmas carols that have been passed down year after year from generation to the next. And my own family is here tonight to help celebrate including my father, Brigadier General Spidey Parker, who retires tomorrow from the U.S. Air Force after 37 years of service. I'm proud of you, Dad. 
And now to help with our next introductions, I'd like to invite our Secretary of the Interior, David Bernhardt, to join me. Come on out. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's a joy to be here tonight. And without further ado, it's my honor to welcome the President of the United States and the First Lady. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Bernhardt. We also have with us a very special people, Congressman Jim Jordan, Congressman Mark Meadows, and Representative John Radcliffe. It's an honor to be with everyone tonight and all across our land. Milani and I would like to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. And now the First Lady will do the honors of lighting the National Christmas Tree. So we'll count from five down to that very special number. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much. And let us show our appreciation to the incredible workers at the Department of the Interior and the National Park Service, please. Did such an incredible job. Thank you very much. And thank you as well to the U.S. Marine Corps Band. Joining us today are David and Sharon Hudson of the Salvation Army. Each year, through their Angel Tree program, the Salvation Army brings new gifts to more than 600,000 children. David and Sharon are an inspiration to us all. And David and Sharon, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Also with us is Sarah Verado, the wife of a wounded hero and the CEO of Independence Fund, which serves wounded warriors. During the holidays, Sarah gives high-tech wheelchairs to veterans and hosts Christmas celebrations for those in recovery, does a fantastic job and Sarah, thank you very much. You're uplifting our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. We're forever in debt to the brave veterans and service members. We applaud their noble service. There is nobody like them. They are an inspiration to us all. We also salute our incredible police and sheriffs, federal law enforcement, Secret Service, as well as our firefighters, paramedics, and first responders. And thank you all for being here. We have a lot of you here. And again, very, very incredible, special people. Thank you very much for being here. And here tonight is Pastor Obed Waregi of Bethany Church in Nazarene in Miami. His congregation serves Thanksgiving meals to families in need, and now they are preparing their annual toy drive Pastor Obed, thank you very much, and we really do appreciate you being with us. You're a special man who has done an incredible job. Uh, people are talking about you all over our country. What a great job you've done. Thank you very much, Pastor. And at Christmas, we remember this eternal truth. Every person is a beloved child of God. As one grateful nation, we praise the joy of family, the blessings of freedom, and the miracle of Christmas. On behalf of Milani and our entire family, Merry Christmas, and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you. Here 
here to perform O Come All Ye Faithful. Please welcome pop artist and American Idol finalist, Colton Dixon. is everything to me. I'm here with my husband, Eric Decker. Woo! Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> my father served in the U.S. Air Force for my entire life, so I know firsthand how important the USO is to our military families. The USO is known far and wide as the force behind the forces, supporting those who serve our great nation in ways big and small each and every day. That's right. And recently, we visited Camp Pendleton to witness a long-awaited homecoming, courtesy of the USO. Take a look. Some missions don't take a holiday. Some work must go on. Standing guard, keeping the peace, lending a hand. This is our chance to lend one back. There are more than one million active duty service members stationed around the world, and this holiday season, Hundreds of thousands of them will remain on duty, on the water, on patrol, away from home. Now more than ever, they need your help to bridge the distance to family, home, and country. So this year, as you celebrate your favorite traditions, take a moment to send a piece of home to our nation's heroes, because even the smallest gesture can lighten the load. Be a force behind the forces. Visit uso.org slash holidays to send the gift of home to our service members.
we heard about this Marine over at Weapons and Field Training Battalion who was really excited uh, and a hard worker and was looking to volunteer to deploy. Uh, we dug a little deeper and, and found Sergeant Chavez and found very quickly that he was going to be the best fit for our deployment. We stay connected on deployment, using my work email, uh, sending her messages from here and there as, I, as I'm working. We make it work, have some time to just speak to each other whenever we hit the ports, call her as much as I can. So I would send them care packages, letters, pictures, and just keep them updated on what was going on back home. Hopefully make him still feel here even though he wasn't. <laughs> Sergeant Chavez, over the last seven months of this deployment, has been an incredible asset. We really could not have deployed without Sergeant Chavez. He was basically a city manager of a small city of about 1,500 Marines on uh, the USS Boxer. Couldn't have done it without him. It's just really excitement, honestly, that's how I feel right now. Happy to be back home, happy to be with my wife. I feel joyful, I'm very happy. Just, you know, grateful to have my husband back, especially in time for the holidays. I couldn't think of a, a more deserving Marine to be afforded this opportunity. Sergeant Chavez is, is amazing. We want to thank the USO for supporting our military families. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. It's my pleasure to introduce the Chavez family who has joined us here tonight. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the United States Air Force's premier rock band, Max Impact. Here to perform Baby It's Christmas with my beautiful wife, Jesse James Decker. Welcome, Chaplain Brigadier General Ronald Harvell, U.S. Air Force. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, America, and Merry Christmas to our faith-filled friends around the world. It is such an honor to be here tonight and to pray with you, and we're going to pray tonight.
to Jesus, the reason for this season. Lord, this Christmas tree symbolizes your glory and your love, how you came that night and did such an amazing thing for our world by giving yourself for us. You truly are the light of the world. You are the life and the light of men. Let us be lights of love for our community and those around us. And Lord, fill our lives with your joy in such a way that we can have a tremendous journey with you. Lord, be near to us tonight, nearer than ever before. For Lord, we're so glad it's Christmas. And we're so glad you came. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Performing the Christmas classic, Carol of the Bells. Please welcome the Tucson, Arizona Boys Chorus. Please welcome Deputy Director for the National Park Service, David Vela. Good evening. I am honored to kick off the holiday season with you tonight at the 97th National Christmas Tree Lighting. Tonight, we celebrate not only the beginning of the holiday season, but also some of America's greatest treasures, our national parks. From Western Mountain Parks to national seashores, battlefields, and memorials, these special places preserve and protect our nation's national and cultural heritage and stories. I want to take this opportunity to celebrate the women and men of the National Park Service, volunteers, seasonals, and permanent employees to include the United States Park Police and our partners work to preserve your parks so that you have a safe, fun, and memorable experience. I'm so very proud and want to thank all of my National Park Service colleagues, both here and across the country. So, I invite you to enjoy your national heritage with your loved ones this holiday season, as adventures in parks may be closer than you think. Now, please enjoy this video, made especially for you by park rangers and volunteers from across the country to ring in the holiday season. Dashing through the snow, in a one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way, ha ha ha, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright, one fun it is to ride and sing, sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh, hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
used to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, 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 bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Hey. Tonight, not only did we light the National Christmas Tree, but also the America Celebrates display, which is comprised of 56 trees surrounding the National Christmas Tree, one for each U.S. state, territory, and the District of Columbia. Each state selected one school to create ornaments for their state's tree in the display. Over 1,500 school students created these ornaments, representing our great and diverse nation. Many of them are here tonight, including these students from Massachusetts. And now, once again, here is Jesse James Decker performing Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Here to perform the Christmas classic, Deck the Halls, please welcome the West Tennessee Youth Chorus.
Please welcome President and CEO of the National Park Foundation, Will Shafroth. Good evening, everyone. Mr. President, the first family, distinguished guests, fellow Americans. On behalf of the National Park Foundation, welcome to the 97th annual National Christmas Tree Lighting. This is a season of giving. As Americans, we are forever grateful for the extraordinary gift that our previous generations have given to us, our stunning, inspiring national parks. Our national parks and historic places are the nation's shared American inheritance. Think about it. We all own a piece of Yosemite, of the Everglades, and of the Statue of Liberty. And because our parks belong to all of us, they are truly common ground, places where we can come together and reconnect as one nation. In our parks, we reconnect with nature. We step away from our busy lives, breathe in the fresh air, gaze up at the snow-capped mountains, and feel the spray of a mighty geyser. We reconnect with our history, the fields of battle where a nation was won and preserved, and the memorials that honor our fallen heroes. And we reconnect with the stories of what has made our nation stronger, the workers who demanded their rights, the men and women who marched for their vote, and Americans who reached for equality. The National Park Foundation, we know that just as our parents and grandparents left these gifts to us, we need to preserve and pass them on to our children and our grandchildren. So this year, we celebrate the return of bison to new areas in the badlands of South Dakota for the first time in 150 years. We also celebrate the preservation of the homes where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born, where he raised his family, and where he launched the Civil Rights Movement. And just over there, we celebrate the reopening of the Washington Monument. Yeah. What marvelous gifts they are, these places that remind us of who we are and what binds us together as Americans this holiday season and every season. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. See you in the parks. Welcome back Colton Dixon with his very own version of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, then mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appears.
here to sing her version of Go Tell It on the Mountain. Please welcome Chevelle Shepard. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the United States Assistant Secretary, Rob Wallace. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. On behalf of the Department of the Interior, thank you all for joining us to celebrate the 97th annual lighting of the National Christmas Tree. Much has changed since 1923 when President Calvin Coolidge lit that first tree. In fact, much has changed in the past few months. As Secretary Bernhardt mentioned, we have had a beautiful new national Christmas tree that was planted here just in time for this celebration. It's a 30 foot tall Colorado blue spruce that comes from Palmyra, Pennsylvania. We have in the audience tonight some of the people from Palmyra that helped the National Park Service deliver this tree here to ignite the holiday spirit. This includes the Lee family. Just a few months ago, this magnificent tree adorned their front yard. Now it's here for all of us to admire. Thank you all for making this happen. Now, while things have certainly changed since 1923, the message this holiday tradition remains the same. It's a message of communities coming together and neighbors helping one another. It's a message of joy. It's a message of peace. And as this tree shines here in the nation's spotlight, it's a message that we share with friends and family across the world. I'm thrilled that my wife, Celia, and daughter, Ella, were able to join me tonight. President Trump captured wonderfully the spirit of this event and the holiday season. Tonight, we come together as one grateful nation and give thanks for the joy of family, the blessings of freedom, and the miracle of Christmas. On behalf of the Department of Interior, the National Park Service, and the National Park Foundation, thank you all for coming to share this hopeful message and celebrate this great American holiday tradition. Thank you.
you all so much for celebrating. And from our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas, y'all.